Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com where you're sure to learn the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques and learn everything about Excel. All right, today I wanted to show you something that might throw you for a loop um, when creating a column chart on a series um, that only has one value in different series areas because you want to give them separate colors. Uh, you uh, may see that uh, each series is in its own slot. Slot 1, slot 2, slot 3, and then finally over on the far right, slot 4. So it goes from left to right. Um, if we actually put values in each one of these, um, you would see, let's do 100 so you can see those. Um, you'll see that uh, that second series, our first series, is always got that first slot over there. And uh, um, that becomes a problem when you uh, want to have your data um, all showing up right above the name, Legend 1 here. Um, so it's a real quick, easy fix. You can double click on any one of these data series. And then over on the far right, um, you will see Format Data Series. You want to change your series overlap from, let's say, negative 27% or 0. Just make it 100%. And they will all overlap and be right centered above your legends. Now, one other quick way to do it uh, so that you won't have a problem, when you highlight your data and create your chart, go up to your Insert ribbon, do your chart. Don't do a 2D column chart. Instead, do a cluster, I'm sorry, a stacked column chart. And what you will see is a stacked column chart, if I bring that over here into the area, um, it's already centered above the legends because it'll put any of those other values on top of each one of them. Now, interestingly enough, if you double click on any one of these series, you will notice that it's already set to a series overlap of 100%. Uh, so uh, kind of interesting, uh, you could just do that and you're already set. And so that's essentially what a stacked column chart is. Instead of overlapping and having them hidden behind, um, it would end up putting them on top. So uh, just a quick little tip I thought I'd share with you. Once again, uh, this is Steve Equals True. Um, please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates to find some other great tutorials. Also, Subscribe to my video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.